Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a charity bookshop book haul with you. And the reason that I wanted to share this one with you because I'm not really doing massive book hauls this year on either of my channels, but I am going back into the classroom this year. I'm going into a year level that I haven't taught before, which is year two or second grade. And while I do have a selection of books that are appropriate for year two students, I don't have as many as I would like. I have tons and tons of picture books and I love having those in the classroom and we will be reading plenty of those next year. But I also wanted to get some novels that are appropriate for them because as with any class, you have students with a variety of reading levels and variety of interests. So having more books for them to choose from is really, really important because it gives them the opportunity to learn what their reading tastes are. One of my goals for this channel next year is that every week I'm going to give a bit of a wrap up of the books that I have used with them. So I'm in the classroom three days a week next year and then I'm out of the classroom two days a week. So I'm going to be giving a bit of a wrap up of the books that I use as a teacher and how I've used them. And also if anything comes up like trends that I happen to notice with my students. So I thought I would share with you this charity bookshop haul. All of these books ended up costing me $9, which was amazing. So some of these I have read or I've read books in the series. Some of them are brand new to me and I don't know all that much about it. The first one that I found was How to Be the New Person by Anna Bradford. This is a very short middle fiction novella, which I've been meaning to read. I was looking at this as a potential book club book for some of the older classes at the school. So I'm going to definitely be reading this one soon. So if you would like to see an individual review of it, let me know down below. But this one I thought would be great because it's not overly long. I managed to find a Hey Jack book. This is The Robot Blues by Sally Rippon. Hey Jack is very, very popular. It is a chapter book, but it has large print and illustrations. So that makes it really accessible for students. Another early chapter book is The Best Pet by Penny Matthews. This is part of the Scholastic Solo series, which are great early readers. So I was glad that I found that. They can be really tricky to find now. I also found these two books by Joe Stanley that I had, hadn't heard about. These are the Play Like a Girl series. So they're about girls playing footy, I would imagine. So there's Totally Epic and Bring It On. I also found four Ella and Olivia titles, which these are super popular in my school. Again, they're chapter novels, but the text is still fairly large. So this makes them accessible. So I found Best Friend Showdown, Cool Kitties, Sports Carnival, and The New Girl. And these are by Yvette Joglian and illustrated by Danielle McDonald. I also found two Ninja Kid books. So there was Ninja Kid 1 and Ninja Kid 4. So this is from Nerd to Ninja and Amazing Ninja. So I have not read the Ninja Kids series, but I do have a stack of Ando books that I will add this to because again, he's a very popular author with this age group. I also found Funny Kid for President. This is by Matt Stanton. Now this one is a much bigger book and it has much smaller text, but I do have a couple of students in the class who are very strong readers. So just having a little bit of variety in here. Again, this is very popular at my school. And the same goes for the collector's edition of The Adventures of Captain Underpants. Obviously this is by Dav Pilkey. And while I'm not a huge fan of the series, the students that I work with Ah, so this was this was actually one that they requested because they enjoy the series. So I found it and thought, why not? Let's just grab it because then it's in the classroom. So yes, that's my little nine dollar book haul. I'm really pleased with that, and I'll probably go back one more time before school goes back to see if they've collected anything else because I know people tend to clear out over the school holidays, and this is a really cheap and efficient way of adding books to a classroom library. I will say we do have access to books that the school purchases, but I like to top that up because I like to actually have a big variety in the classroom library so that kids can actually rifle through and see what they're interested in. I would love to know if you've read any of those books and your thoughts on them, or if you have recommendations for other books that might appeal to year two or second grade students, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, feel free to leave me a book stack emoji if you want to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.